Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we are examining my 2022 planner and journal setup. This is basically a follow-up to my early 2022 video entitled Techo Kaigi, which is just a cool term. It's actually a Japanese term that I've discussed in that video, but it just means planner or journal meeting, which I learned about in the Stationery Cafe podcast a few years ago. And this uh, video, we are doing a mid-year Techo Kaigi, so we are examining how these planners and journals are like holding up and if there's any changes in my setup and I think there are a lot of videos up on um, YouTube about this topic and I find it really fascinating even more so than the kind of beginning of the year setup because it's interesting to see how things shift and change halfway through the year because you know we we realize that we don't like things or we realize some things are not working for us and I think it's really cool hearing about everyone's personal like experiences with certain planners and setups um, and it's really insightful and kind of informs me for maybe the following year in 2023 but enough babbling we'll start with planners so i have four planners i know it seems ridiculous but i am just a com i can't say this word properly compartmentalizer is that even a word but i just like to to compartmentalize my little my, my hobbies my work everything so um i have four planners for that uh, there's some overlap but i'm trying to be better about not planning the same thing in multiple planners because at the end of the day that's just more work for everyone um but i should preface this by saying that i have a master kind of planner that's a digital planner and it's my apple calendar that's synced with google calendar so we'll talk about that digital planning setup in the future i also use notion but i feel like planning is at this day and age um is is hard it's kind of hard to not be on the digital platform as well so i use digital planners as well but these are used pretty much daily if not weekly but i'll just get started i'm gonna babble for too long because this topic is too fun but this is my everyday carry planner my edc planner i use this as kind of like my main planner if there's any events or tasks that i need to write down it could be um, personal it could be work related I try to keep um, only like after school or before school um, work related stuff in here just so it notifies me to make plans but I don't put a whole bunch of work stuff in here just because it's not it's not the planner for that right um, but this has daily weekly and monthly uh, tabs so the dailies are fun because um, they're undated these are from Amazon Japan I believe they are from Loveleaf and it's nice. I just, there's like, I think six main to-do tasks and a um, a, t a timed or like a, a timeline here from like 6 p.m. to 20 o'clock, which my brain doesn't function in 24 hours. I'm sorry. I know like half the world does, but yeah, it's, it's useful, um, but I don't really use the time blocking thing. I, I don't time block in like the daily pages because it's too stressful for me. <laughs> Uh, and sometimes I just I'm very task oriented, so I like having like my to do's and sometimes I'll spill into here. I'll also put any kind of events at the bottom here and then the uh, weekly pages are nice. I was doing some content planning here, um, like for Job's journal here, but then it was getting too stressful and too jam packed. And so we'll talk about that in another planner. But right now I'm just using this for like events, um, after school activities, hanging out with friends um social things uh yeah and i like how you know i'm not forced to like really put anything on here except for like a task or a thing or event that's coming up uh, it keeps it really low stakes and then one thing that i haven't been using much is my monthlies i um i don't know i struggle with filling this in i just like having it as a reference which is i think the best part I say that and th these are all pretty filled up but as you can see i think when we get to june like i did not use this for some reason but i think it's because for me my main like monthly digital planner is on my apple calendar slash google calendar which are synced together um and yeah so i reference that and sometimes i'll import things in here but i don't know i just like to look at things on a weekly or daily basis um, but yeah, this is my EDC. Still love it. Was in my initial setup and we'll continue to use it. Next up is my work bullet journal. So I actually can't show you anything because I just finished a bullet journal that I've 
an insert actually from this bullet journal for two years so this is a fresh one this is a cosmo air light notebook and I'm very excited because cosmo air light is like a fun and interesting paper that i've been wanting to try i've had this for like a year actually i've done pen tests like when i purchased this like a year ago i just haven't used it just because it's so thick and i'm planning to use this as my work bullet journal um i'm a teacher if um you did not know but i think i don't know different professions require different uh planners and i think for me I, I know there's a lot of good teacher um specific planners but the bullet journal is very customizable and so that's why i like this because things change from week to week but there's one thing that i do not like about bullet journaling and it's making monthly spreads so um, I'll just show you this empty one. This is like September. I just used a Traveler's Company um, proprietary dated monthly insert. Um, this just saves me the hassle and the pain of making a monthly spread. And it's, I, I know that I'm not going to make any mistakes. And that's one thing that's really important for me because I actually use this as like my main, this monthly as my main kind of like glance month at a glance for my for teaching and if there's any like staff meetings or anything important i put it down here as well as in my digital planner um and yeah it's really handy that this is updated because i inform my weekly and possibly daily pages in here i'll go into more detail once i have this insert set up because i have some ideas for it but that's probably for another video but yeah this is just in my lovely lovely hotel edition travelers notebook this is a limited edition for 2022 love it so much it's getting really nice patina and scratches which i love to see and then i have my integrated pen loop that i sewed onto a plastic sheet and then i have just a coeco all sport in black here um very trusty i've had i've been using a bullet journal as my work planner for like four years now which is kind of amazing actually um and it really works for me so i don't want to change it if it's working for me and then these um this was also sorry just to say that this was also in my initial 2022 setup so it's still there and then this is my financial planner this is a plotter narrow so plotter is like a ring system but the one um difference is that they use small 11 millimeter rings so it forces you to be very minimalistic in your kind of planning or journaling needs in your plotter um some might see that as a, a drawback but i like it because it keeps it nice and concise and this is so luxurious the the brass slash gold um spine it's actually like really weighty and then the weather this is the pueblo or pueblo leather and um it kind of has natural scratches on it and it's really nice um i've talked about this in an, its own video and i restored it because i purchased this new um i can show you this uh spread here this is my fine finance tracker so i write down um basically there's early pages in the front that i really can't show you but i i put down um my reoccurring um things that i need to pay so payments uh uh in the beginning of this planner and i actually use a color-coded system so um i have um all of my reoccurring payments there and then anything that is kind of for i don't know i don't want to say disposable i guess slightly disposable income uh, or money so you can see that like uh, this, I guess I'm just going to be transparent with my budgeting, but I allowed myself to use $154 for like free spending. So it's not necessities and any of my pre allotted, like I, I don't know how everyone does their fin finance um, tracking slash, slash budgeting, but I save away a certain mon amount of money for like food and, um, what else like savings and then my reoccurring payments and then um i budget a certain amount for each week just to keep me accountable and so i write down um all the things that are kind of outside of like the 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 allotted um money that sounds so confusing but basically i have a pool of money that i can spend on things that are not part of like the other subcategories that i've kind of saved for already so for example for this week i had 154 dollars to um 
to spend. And so I kind of write down the different things. And so um, I have it color coded. So blue means kind of like shopping. Um, orange is like f like eating out or like um, ordering food and getting it delivered. So like Uber Eats and skip the dishes. And then green, I also put the reoccurring payments there sometimes too. So I'll put that there. And then I'll tell myself if I'm over budget. So this week, in, this was a few weeks back, says that I was $58 over budget, which is not good. But um, it's, I, I don't know. For me, I, I really have a, not a bad relationship with money, but I just was the person that didn't like to check their bank account. And so this year, I really wanted to fix that. And now I feel more like transparent with my own money. I think because back then I was kind of like, oh, I'll just kind of not look at it and deal with it later. But now it's like, no, I'm taking charge of my my money. And, you know, money is always like a, a taboo topic or a topic that people don't like to talk about. But I, I don't know. It's really good to be more financially aware. I don't want to say I'm financially literate because I think I still make a lot of very dumb decisions with my money. But you know what? Um, it's all about the journey, right? And as long as you're putting the effort to to learn and change i think that's all that matters but this is um my finance tracker i really recommend this um this format because you get to track things that you want to track like um you're spending on the left hand side and then on the right hand side i kind of have a running list of my budget so sometimes there's day weeks where i actually minus the amount here and then i just do like a manual subtraction over here just to see where i'm at with my budget and it's like a very visual representation of it i know some people don't track every little dollar but for me i just i think it's better for me that i do that because it makes me more aware of my spending and my spending habits this is a particularly not good week to show but you know what in to be transparent this week was a little bit more of a pricier week um yeah and i let me try to show the color code key so this is the color code key that i have so i have food reoccurring bills hobby um what does oh entertainment shopping other miscellaneous slash emergency for yellow and then pink i also put job's journal because there's some things that i pay for that are you know specific to job's journal and then incoming payments so um that's also like my paycheck um and as well as like other revenue sources like youtube adsense and like small like things here and there from job's journal which is not a lot but it's still good to track that and yeah i have that at the beginning and then over here are my reoccurring uh bills and payments that you know for the sake of transparency i feel like i've shown you know a, a comfortable amount but i'm not gonna show that um but yeah i think that's it i also bought these tabs um, and they're really handy. Oh, I still have the monthly view. I don't think I really like the monthly view right now. I just need a monthly view in every planner just so I can reference things. But I usually put the total for each category in uh, for the month in the monthly view. But that's pretty much it. Okay, that was my finance um, slash budget tracker. Um, this is still the same in my... 2022 setup and i think 2023 i know it's too early to say but i really like this method of tracking and i usually don't bring this around with me i keep this at home but i end up bringing it around with me anyway just because i love the plotter and i think that's a sign that i would need to have some sort of like chic and slim ring set up in my like everyday carry slash everyday journal because i just love carrying this around and it looks so chic so cool i feel like i don't know i just feel very cool <laughs> when i use this for some reason and then i have a uni uh jet stream edge so it's a 0 0.38 jet stream and you all know how i love the jet stream series of pens a lot so that's another love and then my last planner this was in my 2022 setup but it it's shifted because some lovely friends gifted me a Hobonichi Weeks. And this is a spring start. Um, I feel like I should show my dedication page. <laughs> These are the friends that um, help 
you know gift this to me and it was really kind of them um and back then i was using this as like a mini weekly recap slash planner i would backfill it i would plan in it and then backfill it so it was nice but it had too much overlap with my other weekly recap planner and so it felt weird having two weekly recaps and i was just writing the same thing over and over again so i thought hey i love the week so much i still want to use this and so i decided to actually make it my job's journal content planner because as i showed you in the earlier part of this video in my edc i was trying to do something like that in my weekly pages um I was trying to show, you know, I posted a, a reel that day and I was editing this, but it was, it got too crowded. And so I decided to move into um, this week's and use this as a content planner. And I'm using a very minimal approach because as you know, me, I just love having no white space in my planners and journals for some reason. And so I really like how this looks. Actually, it's a nice change in a... It's a breath of fresh air, but I'm still being very efficient in it. And so I came up with this little system where I split the main column or main um, week page. This is the memo page. Um, I split it into two. I have um, this part over here, which has any Instagram um, posts here. And then this is anything else related to social media or the shop so um i will show you an actual page here because this was a test run page this is where i have like my youtube like i posted a youtube video on that wednesday and then i have my twitch um schedule here and then i have an instagram side here i only did post it on instagram once that week um and these colors are actually very helpful because I don't know i've been really using the clean colored dots but they've been really helpful with organizing my planner and so for media creation um for me i have kind of four steps i know some people have more but for the level um that i'm at i feel like this is kind of adequate so stage one is when i've filmed slash um like taking photos of said piece of content so for example right now i'm on the filming stage of this video stage two is editing the video or photo and then stage three this is kind of um it varies because this could be related to instagram or youtube this is a cover page or a thumbnail so for reels i usually like to put a custom cover or a thumbnail for my youtube videos and then a caption which actually takes quite a long a bit of time and stage four means it's scheduled or queued up so it's like ready to go basically and for me <laughs> i rarely get to stage four before the day of posting but that's more of like a job not being uh on top of his tasks um but ideally that's what i'd like to happen um but for this week apparently i had my my ish together and so <laughs> I ha I had this reel already scheduled and this video scheduled and I have it um, with a green dot and then once I post it I actually just put a check mark um, when it finally goes live and then on the memo side I have my notes and to do's sometimes the notes are very small like this was very um, like I didn't have to put this here but you know it corresponded to my mail packaging video and I wanted to keep a little bit of that the, that mail packaging in this journal i still want it to be like a fun planner like i don't want it to just be like black and white i know some people really like minimal planning for me this is my take on minimal planning already because i can't not put like a sticker down or put a little doodle down um and i i think for me this has a lot of um a lot of negative or white space actually this week i didn't post any instagram posts but i did go post a youtube video that was moved over here and then i um posted on twitch i had my tasks over here and it kind of just repeats um ig story i've been tracking when i put stories too because i don't know i have a love-hate relationship with instagram sometimes i post sometimes i don't and so i rather um track that too and then this is you can tell when I was working on a more involved video, like my Q2 favorites that have a lot of like different parts to it. And so I wrote down a whole bunch of to-do lists. 
Um, and then, yeah, I've been really liking this so far. And then in the notes section, this is the current week. Um, in the notes section, I just have my um, idea bank for reels. I don't actually post a lot of reels. I think I did like maybe four weeks ago <laughs> or closer to, yeah, like the springtime. But if I have an idea, I will write it down. And then if it's filmed and then if it's edited and it's the same kind of four step um, color system that I used earlier, filmed, edited, cover or thumbnail, and then drafted with caption uh, or scheduled slash queued up. And I don't know, it's been working with me. Like for these, I have all of this done, but oh, actually, you know what? I think I have posted that. You know what? This is a live plan with me. I did do that. And please excuse the, the sound of the the alarms slash the sirens and then the book journal with me i think that's that's posted too okay good for me um but as you can see i haven't really kept up with that and then since i actually this almost got lost in the mail actually i have a few pages at the beginning of when i like this is when i just got the planner i believe um i had i have a whole bunch of week pages that are not filled and so right now i've been just taking um a lot of liberty with it and just using it for notes pages like th these are like the i don't know they're pretty ugly notes um i was just like testing pens and whatnot but you know what it's still making use of the pen and so i have some <laughs> this is journal caddy wants i really want a journaling tote and so that's why that's there and then um yeah i have my my thoughts for this video and yeah, it just extends like if there's any kind of note taking that i need for this video there's probably going to be a video about this journaling tote as well um i have this to reference and so i actually have this open like um when i'm filming um so for this video for the quarter two favorites i had this open while i was filming but yeah i think that's it this is like the newest kind of addition to the planning family I hope you found that useful. We'll head into the next section. Oh my gosh, we're 20 minutes in already. Okay, next section. Let's talk about journals. So we'll start with the weekly journals and then my kind of daily journals. So uh, the first one is an insert um, that is housed in my Passport Traveler's Notebook. This is actually an updated setup because right before this video i actually did a massive switch up because i was using two passport travelers notebooks and it felt like overkill because i had one insert in one and like two inserts in another one and in reality i can fit like three plus inserts in a, a traveler's notebook so i decided to combine them and i have this master passport size traveler's notebook which houses my music journal which is kind of like a whenever journal when whenever i get inspired to journal about music like i have my june um receiptify which is super cool if you haven't used receiptify it basically prints out a receipt of your most played music for that month uh but yeah this is nice it's just in a grid insert and then this is the weekly uh journal that i wanted to show you this is my uh illustrated weekly uh journal so or weekly comic it can be called many different things but i started on this week in april um on the fourth and i just started using this as like a mini comic of my life and i've been really enjoying it it's really gotten me back into watercoloring and yeah i've been loving it because it's like a daily drawing practice um and it's just very fun it's not too um like serious i, I try to make fun vignettes like there's me on a stack of notebooks because I guess I was journaling a lot that day. Um, some hauls, some food that I've enjoyed. When I accidentally drew Jollibee with the wrong colors, kind of looks like evil Jollibee. Um, skincare, shows that I've been liking, hospital playlist. When I was really sore, like it's been really, really fun um, journaling in this. And this is actually um, the journal that I'll be holding my first travelers company usa um kind of watercolor 
um, class uh, slash workshop, um, which is coming in a few weeks. I'll be sure to leave that in the description bar below if you want to sign up for it. But yeah, it's been really fun kind of capturing my life in this comic style. And I really recommend it with everyone. I'll definitely share more of this content on YouTube. I feel like I've been posting a lot of this in my Instagram, but I, I really enjoy journaling this format and it's just fun to like doodle about your life and kind of make it more exciting and fun not to say that life is boring but i feel like you can really jazz it up with how you portray it in your like journals and so that's one thing that i do in this journal and then i have this insert called mini moments which just has um like mini collages that have really no like writing or very minimal writing and it's just focused on like experimenting with collage and collage elements and photos and things that i find interesting um this is actually the super lightweight paper insert from b-sides and rarities from travelers company i actually used this or started this in 2021 but my other mini moments um insert i just completed it had one year's worth of i guess mini moments and i'm planning to continue using this for um 2022 and i don't know if it's gonna be as collagey just because this has so many pages it's gonna get so chonky but i kind of wish it gets really chonky too um but i do miss the mixed paper insert that i was using but yeah i also just have a b-sides and rarities cloth um cloth thingy cloth what is this called zipper pouch and i just have like um some stickers there and yeah i just love that it's all in one insert or one journal now and i um modified this hobonichi weeks pencil board into a um, leather pen loop attachment and you can just put that there and then you have a leather pen loop attached uh to your journal and it's a nice and easy solution uh, so there's that and then this is my thinking of you journal by mr eggplants so this is what it looks like it's an a5 journal it's in a um lv agenda cover in the damier eben colorway um this is my weekly recap journal and i have been really enjoying this but i think 2022 will be my last year using this just because i feel a little bit burnt out using it and sometimes i feel like i'm behind and it's like a chore to keep up but i've been really you know at the end of the day i still enjoy it and i love how it looks um but basically for the month pages i actually do some gratitude um but in the past few months, as you can see, I have really fallen off of that train. And in June, I totally forgot to do it. Um, so I think I might change how I'm using the monthly pages just because I do still feel <laughs> gratitude in life. But I don't know. Sometimes I just forget to write it down in this journal. I think it's just it's not a function of... Um, like writing the gratitude down it's more of this journal i just haven't feel inspired using it i still fill it up and catch up every week but there's only a few pages that i really really enjoy this is one spread that i absolutely love but sometimes i feel like it's just too messy or discombobulated but you know what that's fine too i just i think i might just need a break from this journal as you can see i'm kind of caught up but there's some like i didn't write anything in some of these parts over here but for the most part i'm like pretty caught up as you can see um but i think after this it's a sign to take a break from this i used this last year and you know i will use it and complete it this year just because i've put so much effort already um, but it doesn't spark as much joy as it did at the beginning of the year um but yeah, I, this is, you know, a still a lovely planner format. And if you want a journal, like a weekly recap journal, I feel like this is one that you should really reconsider or you should consider if you haven't used it because it's such a unique format with, you know, having some space at the front of, or top for some journaling or some collaging or like a highlight of that week. And you have this whole week to fill out. And then there's tons of extra pages like this for collaging if you don't want to do this hand writing or hand lettering practice but yeah this is the one other weekly journal and then this is the last weekly journal this is the hours studio 
weekly research journal and this is my media journal and me- media journal slash uh photo a day journal i've been loving this though this is one thing that i still really enjoy and speaking of which i need to do the june one but i just love having a photo each day i actually have a template for how to create this i'll leave it in the description bar below if you have an hours journal um because i just use my silhouette i just drag and drop the photos and it's cut for me and i just have a fun afternoon of placing the stickers down on each little box and it's it always ends up looking really cool actually uh, but yeah, I just track my um, weekly media consumption, my thoughts about it, as well as any books that I've been enjoying. So as you can see, I was like reading Heartstopper here, was um, re- reading Sally Rooney's book. I think I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo that day when I started a Hospital Playlist, which is a K-drama. But yeah, I've just been really liking this. I print photos of the uh i guess the promotional posters of um those tv shows or movies sometimes i take stills our flag means death um right now i'm watching stranger things season two i'm really behind but i'm continuing the hype from you know the media since it's season four and yeah i write down when i just some days i just watch a lot of youtube and a lot of vlogs and so i write down um stuff about that but obi-wan miss marvel like it's i just really like i really like this uh this journal i think um next year i do want to continue using this and i should probably preface this by saying that all these three weekly journals have kind of been stated in my um 2022 initial techo kaigi video and i'm still using them i guess this is a little bit of a tweak since there's more inserts in here now but yeah this is still really fun and i still use all three uh, but i think in 2023 i do want to use this hours again i think it's really fun um but i also think that i can merge my media journaling in another journal which is this one because sometimes i do book reviews in here like my Heartstopper book review or the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo review. Like maybe I can just move all of my my TV um, content over here. But I don't know. I actually don't r- really rate TV shows much. I kind of just like journaling about my thoughts um, about them or as it's happening or my theories with of how it's going to end, which is kind of like my journaling here. Uh, but yeah, overall, I've just been really liking this. I think maybe next year I'm going to continue with this. But one thing is, that I want to use is this notebook or week format because it's really unique. Just like the thinking of you, I just haven't felt burnt out with this layout yet. And so I kind of want to try it again for 2022 or sorry, 2023. But sometimes it's too early to say. But that is it for weekly journals. And then I'm just going to show this real quick this is my daily journal but we all know i always say daily journal but it's more of like a whenever journal i still i think if there's one notebook that i bring with me that's not a planner it's this one um i that's why i call it my daily journal i I try to document daily but sometimes i don't Uh, but i just have a leather natural leather insert from uh gail nether this actually a, could be a hobonichi weeks cover but i just didn't like how it didn't have a closure and how large it was and so i converted it as a weekly insert uh sorry not weekly insert uh, a leather zipper pouch in my traveler's notebook and then i have my lovely notebook from c points it's a this is an artist that i follow and i love they use a lot of blue and watercolor textures in their art and this is a watercolor uh, notebook um, so I've been trying to use my watercolor notebook a lot because you know, I've been really getting into watercolor a little bit more and I bought some big boy paints that I want to show at some point in, in on this channel but I bought some pricier paints because I, I don't know I just I've always used uh, student grade ones doesn't that doesn't mean that you can't use student grade paints but I just wanted to splurge and treat myself a little bit but yeah I just do a little bit of doodling here and I think this paper, this watercolor paper, has forced me to do more watercoloring because it just works so beautifully on it um, and less collaging. There's definitely still more collaging in here though, but I absolutely love how this turned out, the what we ate spread. This is all, um, this is a two page spread about that day, but 
I still couldn't not print photos, so I still printed out photos. And one thing that I realized in this journal is that I've used less stationery. I only used, I think, those two dot stickers and that piece of washi, and that was it. And then, yeah, I, I don't want to show this too much because I think I have a journaling video for that. And then um, this is when I was so behind that I just made a digital template for myself on Photoshop for my journals, and then I just dragged and dropped the photos and it turned out really cool i actually like how this turned out this one got cut off a little bit but i don't know i think this digital layout looks really cool and i think it's like a nice mix between um digital and analog which is on this side and then i put my recidify again here i don't know i've just been playing around with journaling styles this aesthetic has that very like um k-pop journaling polkos style like almost cutesy it's very uh korean journaling uh, that doesn't make sense it has a korean journaling style or look to it with like you know, the squiggles and the ribbon stickers i don't own any of those but i tried to emulate it with a highlighter but yeah i've been really enjoying this um i also have another zipper pouch here i just keep more ephemera i always like to keep a lot of like ephemera in this journal because if there is one journal that i'm journaling within the outside world it's this one and so i try to keep stickers and fun ephemera bits that i can use so it's um it's fun to journal with if i don't bring you know like stationary bits like this washi pouch or something but yeah this is my daily journal okay let's move on to the next category shall we the next three are miscellaneous, uh, I guess, journals slash planners slash sketchbooks. These are the three that, you know, I don't normally use as much. It's only when the the inspiration strikes or when I need to. I'll start with the one that I probably use most regularly here. I could have put this in my weekly slash daily journals, but sometimes, you know, I go stretches or weeks of not using this journal and then I... I end up using it almost daily it really depends but this is my diary so i write my deepest darkest thoughts as well as um book reviews for some reason i just i don't know i haven't been able to to not separate those two things i guess maybe because i um like to relate a lot of my myself in book reviews and i also do like tarot card journaling here and reflections like this i really like how this turned out um but this is a zoom keen universal notebook this is the a6 size i i don't know if they still make this i wish they do because i would like to repurchase this but this was sent as a gift this is the number 107 and as you can see here it has like um grid lines over here um that kind of um go into the margins of the page which help you um cut this page up really easily you can make a monthly spread super fast and without a ruler because you just follow those lines but yeah i don't really use it for that um but i do like having the flexibility to to make those kind of delineations in my page um because i can make you know cooler layouts but really i just kind of journal about um my day um i did some like reflections on my one year of twitch streaming which was really insightful and i made a little thank you page for each of my moderators um but yeah it's just really fun collaging in here and i have this little collaging kit for this journal that just has small paper bits which i really enjoy but yeah this is one thing that i was using in my 2022 setup video and it just has a fancy new um jacket which is the superior labor a6 natural leather cover this is my i think my favorite cover aside from my traveler's notebooks it is so nice and soft the quality is amazing if there's one cover that you need to purchase if you're looking at you know all these lovely covers that i have shown i think it's this one aside from you know a trusty traveler's notebook which patinas amazingly this is just so soft the a runner up would be the atelier phileas notebook which in natural leather as well so nice and so smooth as well i think i don't know natural leather just has like a grasp over me i just love it too much but yeah this is the diary i really like it I love A6 now, and I think 2023, I need to reevaluate my notebook sizes because I love 
the smaller journals lately and i think you know a b6 slim might be a nice addition or some sort of other a6 notebook but i really like this with that being said i'm showing you another a6 journal slash paper testing journal uh it's not paper testing ink testing journal so i have this old take a note from last year um that i didn't really use and i tried to give it to my sister and she didn't really use it because we both are not a fan of the layout for planning we never tried it for journaling but I, at this point um i think i'll i think i'll try take a note in the future but not at this moment but i've just been using this because it has lo lovely tomoe river paper and i just do some ink swatching and ink tests here to see how it how an ink behaves on this paper because Tomoe River paper is really unique in that it releases or shows a lot of uh, the amazing characteristics of various inks and so I always like to use this as like my first test for how an ink behaves on paper and so I have Portland Rain we kind of if you watch the quarter two video quarter two favorites you know my little uh slip up with the name or no the my uh with how i was describing the sink uh i'll let you watch that video <laughs> instead i don't want to make the same mistake again but yeah this is really nice i was using this in my 2022 setup um like initially and i'm still using it now so it's still holding strong i'll probably finish the year with this as my like ink test journal and then when it's done it's done and then this i haven't been using much but I have been really into trying different um, like art mediums and I've been trying oil pastels and this is like my first kind of formative uh, test and then I've been just playing around with it. But yeah, I really just started this like recently. I think I have like unfinished artwork here for like Year of the Tiger stuff like i just put like the base layer with gouache and walked away <laughs> for some reason and i have this drawing of a panda with moomin because i was like oh i'm gonna make a little painting for when i receive the moomin cover but i haven't been you know i haven't really been doing this a lot and since i've been kind of switching to watercolors a lot more this paper is all right with watercolors but it's you know not that lovely absorbent paper that uh, watercolor paper is known for um but yeah i still want to use this more i haven't really reached for this a lot but i don't know sketchbooks really have no time limit like dated planners and journals and so i can use this for many years to come but yeah i'm still using it and this was in my 2021 uh sorry 2022 setup video and i still really enjoy this as like a miscellaneous whenever sketchbook the one thing that i want to mention is that i kind of have not been using this journal a lot lately this is actually kind of um actually a mishmash of things but this is a lovely lovely ring organizer from atelier phileas this is so luxurious so i still kind of like reach for it a lot but for the monthly and weekly pages um i haven't been gravitating toward as toward it as much just because the file effects inserts that i have are very um i don't know they're very busy to me like there's just so many things going on and i don't know it's been a very big deterrent for me using it which is something that i never thought would happen i think it's the blue and the shading i just wish it was more minimal i know they have more minimal inserts and i think that was my mistake i just kind of bought the first thing that i saw but i was trying to make it work i was kind of doing some tarot journal polls and reflections i just use tarot as a means of reflecting on my day um but it's it hasn't been that fun i think i just the 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 inserts just taking a toll on me like look at how much detail and information's on there they have thursday and then they have it in every other language and then there's just it's just a lot um the two colors also throw me off because there's black and blue like choose one color file facts no i'm kidding i know that they have a more minimal version but that's a that's an error on my part and it's kind of really just created more not um i guess it just created um a little bit of um a, a deterrent for me i guess to use it but i was using it pretty pretty strongly uh, and daily actually but 
lately I just haven't been doing it as much, but maybe this is a reminder for me to get back into it. But this is a problem that I can fix by just printing out my own inserts that I really like, which is actually a really nice fix. It's not too expensive too, because I can just print it out, uh, purchase a printable and do it myself and save some money and also find a, a spread or a, a layout that works for me, which I probably will do and I'll definitely update everyone. But it's a shame that this hasn't been used as much this part, but I still use these uh, tarot stickers like pretty much daily. Um, but yeah, it's still really fun. And I really, really love using this notebook and I bring it with me when I go cafe journaling for the reason that it just looks so cool and I just love holding it. Uh, which is a really bad excuse to bring a journal, but sometimes it just it just looks so cool and aesthetic. But yeah, that completes today's uh, mid-year Techo Kaigi. Lots of changes, but I actually got my setup down to like nine notebooks now. I think we were at 12 or 13 at some point. I, I don't use all nine every day, obviously, but... I think that's a good sign. Hopefully we'll get down to like seven in 2023. But I think at this point, you know, some people might say, oh, why do you need so many? But for me, this is my main hobby and uh, it's my way of artistic expression. I express my my creativity through journals and I use different mediums and paints and collaging and art styles in my journal and I think that's all that matters. And you know what? Planning is also very personal to some people. Some people have one book to rule them all and they use that for everything. But for way, the way my brain works, I just like to compartmentalize things. And so I also have done that with my planning. Uh, but everyone is different. And you, again, you don't need all of this to do what you need to do. In theory, we could probably just use Google Docs and one journal, but um that's not what this hobby is about i think for a lot of us this is like a way for us to release our creativity and also to um i guess to help ourselves get organized and to make sense of this very crazy world that we live in um but yeah without getting too philosophical and emotional i just want to say Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to leave in the comments down below. Um, I guess a little bit about your Techo Kagi. What has changed or one thing that you discovered over the past six months that has really clicked for you or something that has really been not great for you that you've realized? Because I just want to know what works for people and what doesn't work because it could help inform me in my future setups. But I think that's it, folks. Please take care of yourselves and be safe as always. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.